Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new here, I hope you're doing well. I don't know how many more times I'm going to have to say this at the start of a video. Please bear with, my voice still hasn't come back properly, um, but I don't want that to put me off filming. As you can see from the title, this video is going to be like beauty slash skincare products that you need, well, I think you need in 2024. These are products that I use literally quite a lot throughout 2023 and they're just products that I think have really helped me and I'm going to let you guys know. Some of these products might be products that you've used as well. I know a lot of the products that I've got to show you guys are very very popular so I'm sure some of you or at least some of you are going to have these products already. So I'm going to do like a few different categories. I'm going to do like hair care products that I'm loving, skincare and also makeup. I've got them all here so I'm just going to talk you through all of them and show you the ones that I use basically on a daily basis. So I'm going to start off with hair care because I feel like hair care is the one of the things that I've used for the longest. Like I'm always making sure my hair, I'm using like heat protector and things like that. So I'm going to show you the products that I do use on my hair. First up, I'm going to start with the Colorwell Dream Coat because I feel like every single girl has this. Um, I got this maybe two years ago now for my birthday and I've literally used it every day since. I love it. This is actually my second one now. Um, and it, it just literally love using this on my hair i definitely feel like this does make a difference i know some people say it doesn't really change anything for their hair um but it definitely does get rid of the frizziness so it's meant to like um be very good for like humidity which i feel like i don't know why i didn't take this on holiday with me i definitely should have because there is a picture i saw of myself on holiday of the day and the frizz on my hair i was just like what am i doing um so this is definitely going to be like a holiday essential for this year um so i literally just apply this when my hair's wet before i dry it um it's meant to help like when you go outside and if it's like raining or something it's literally meant to help like stop your hair going frizzy things like that and it's definitely helped me like when i used to dry my hair without this my hair would be frizzy straight away whereas when i put this on um i noticed such a difference then the next products that i have been loving are these shampoo and conditioners again i don't remember how many times i've repurchased these they're literally one of my favorite products this is the brazilian keratin smooth shampoo and conditioner and when i tell you i'm obsessed with this i love the smell the key ingredients in these that help with your hair are coconut oil keratin proteins avocado oil and also cocoa butter um, and it just helps strengthen the hair it gives you a really nice glow as well and i literally love these so much so get a very good amount in here i think i've purchased these like five times obviously they last a while i tend to wash my hair like two to three times a week um if i'm slicking it back and sometimes Sometimes I'll leave it like slicked for two days and then I'll wash it um, but it just depends on like what I'm doing and how I need my hair etc. I think you can literally get these anywhere. I tend to reorder them from ASOS. Sometimes they're out of stock but I also do either get them from my like nearest boots. On to the next product. This is like a brand I don't hear many many people rave about but I literally love it. I've heard a few people speak about it but I don't think enough people know about this brand yet. This is Bondi Boost. Now I actually have quite a few hair products. I have a few hair tools from them. I have their Mermaid Weather the blowout brush and I literally love them. Recently I've been mermaid, mermaid waving my hair and that has been the tool that I've been using. On to the actual product, this is the Bondi Boost Intensive Spray. Now this is literally just a spray that you can spray into your hair. You can do it when it's wet or dry um, and it's like a leave-in treatment. You don't have to wash it out which is so handy. Sometimes if like, I slick my hair back I'll spray this in fat. So you just spray this like directly onto your scalp. You can like massage it in if you've got like a scalp massager you can just use your hands. Hello. Good, thanks. How are you? So the ingredients included in here are vitamin B5, a peppermint and tea tree oil. And it also has such a nice smell. I'm going to just spray it now just so. It's like, it reminds me of holiday. It's like a really tropical smell. I literally love it so much. So Bondi Boost is actually an Australian brand. Um, they've sent me a few of their products before, but that is not like anyway sponsored in this video. I just thought I'd show this one because I absolutely love it. And then lastly for the hair care products, I have the GHD um, heat protector spray, which I literally love and I'm going to repurchase again. So this is a small like travel size bottle that I got included with the straighteners and I literally love it again. This smells really nice. Like it makes your hair oh love the smell of it. it's like a perfume um for your hair i'm gonna keep this bottle for like obviously traveling but i'm gonna get the bigger bottle to use just like at home because i feel like there's not really much left in here i've had it for a little while now but i literally use it every time i style my hair even if i've just washed my hair it makes my hair smell so much nicer so that is the last product for hair care and then moving on to skincare, I'm going to show all of the ones that I've been loving for a very long time. And there's also some in here that I've just recently added to my like skincare and I literally love. So first up, we have the Ordinary Glycolic Acid. 
um and i've had this for a while but i don't use it very often i feel like it's very strong um this is a glycolic acid toning solution so basically i apply a bit of this onto a cotton pad and just rub it all over my face i feel like it really gets rid of like any excess makeup that may be on your face or like bits of dead skin but i do feel like it's a very strong product so i tend to use this just like once a week to do like a very deep cleanse into my skin so on the back of the bottle it does actually say to not use more frequently than once per day but obviously i do this just once a week but as i said i definitely notice it does take off a lot of product from my face which i may have missed when cleansing speaking of cleansing one of the cleansing balms that i've been using a lot recently is the inky list oat cleansing balm now i've been using this along with my bioma cleansing balm which i literally love both of them so much um i've been using this one a little bit more though just because there's a lot more product in the bottle so you can literally use this day and night to cleanse your face i use this to like basically melt off my makeup so before I wipe all my makeup off I use this rub it all into my face get rid of all my makeup and then I'll double cleanse afterwards so once I've removed everything I'll wipe over my face and then I'll go in and cleanse it again this is also very reasonably priced and you do get a lot of product in there for the amount you pay you also can get like a smaller version of this which I definitely think I'll get for traveling just because this is quite a big bottle and this is a product that I've only recently just purchased, but I am already obsessed with it. Next up, I have the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. And again, I've recently just got this. I got this around Christmas and I literally have been using it every day. I love it so much. I'm not sure if you're meant to use it every day, um, but it's been fine for my skin. I feel like it's definitely helped my skin especially where the weather's been a little bit cold and my skin's been a little bit dry this has really helped like nourish and hydrate my skin next up we have one of the most popular products ever which i literally had bought just because i'd seen it all over my tiktok this is the glow recipe watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer that's a mouthful this is the moisturizer from glow recipe this is actually the mini version because i wanted to like test out before i got the bigger version um and it's actually a very good size smells very nice and it is very hydrating once i put this on sometimes just before i get into bed i literally just apply a small amount of this because it makes my skin feel very like hydrated um and it's nice just to wake up in the morning and my skin not feel like dry um which is what i've been loving about this it's also such cute packaging and i really do want to try out some more of the glow recipe products so if you do know any that you can recommend to me then let me know in the comments then from the brand tatcha slash tatcha i'm not actually sure how you pronounce this properly um i feel like everyone i hear say this pronounces it differently so i'm just going to go with tatcha or tatcha but this is the water cream again this is the mini version but i literally love this it's very hydrating on the skin very lightweight like i feel like some moistures can feel very thick on your skin even though they're very hydrating this one's really nice and light it has such a nice smell it kind of reminds me of the spa i also really do like the packaging and then lastly for skincare i'm going to quickly mention the laneige um lip balm obsessed um i use this every single night before i get into bed and i literally wake up and my lips are still like nourished by this there's still product on my lips so this is gummy bear scented and i literally love the smell of it i'm sure i've basically used it all up already i'm definitely going to get a few of the other scents as well because i know this is very very good for my lips this is definitely a lip care product that i have been loving before i move on from skincare i'm going to mention this this is the garnier vitamin c body superfood i again another product i love which is why i'm mentioning it i've actually used so much already this is in the mango scent yes this is mango and vitamin c and this is really really nice on your skin every time i get out of the shower i apply this straight away onto my body if i feel my skin a little bit dry i put this on straight away um i was using the sol de janeiro um um bum bum cream but this is like a kind of like a dupe fit it doesn't smell exactly the same but it's very nourishing but moving on to makeup i'm going to quickly mention a few of the products that i have been loving some of them i've been using for quite a long time now and some of them are fairly new so first up we have the ysl blurring primer now i got sent this around summertime last year and it has literally been in my makeup bag ever since i try not to use it too much because i literally want to save this the bottle is so beautiful as you can see it's like got golden flakes in the primer so for a very long time i wasn't actually using a primer before putting on my makeup um and i would like occasionally think oh my makeup's really not lasting today as soon as i used this my makeup was literally on 24 7 um even when i was on a holiday in the heat this was really helping keep my makeup on and it really does help like smooth out your skin before applying foundation 
I know this can be on the pricier side for some people, but sometimes I do definitely think it is good to invest in like higher quality products um, to help your makeup last a lot longer. So if you are looking for a really good primer, definitely recommend this one. Now the product I'm about to show, I know everyone must have in their makeup bag. Um, this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Primer. Now, I think saying I'm obsessed with this is an understatement. I've never used something so nice on my skin. So this is definitely like a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. So if you're looking to get the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, you don't really want to spend £40. This. I think they're like £14, £15, which I thought for e.l.f. was quite pricey, but... I would definitely pay it over and over again um, and you can probably get like a few different shades of this instead of paying for the Charlotte Tilbury. So I've got two shades here, um, so at the moment I've been mixing them together to get the perfect shade. Um, so I've got shade 2 and shade 5. This one actually fits my skin, fits, matches my skin perfectly when I'm in the summer and it's I'm tanned. Um, this one is good for my skin now, but it is a little bit light, so I do mix in a small amount of the darker shade with this. Probably should just get the middle shade, but I actually just love both these shades together. You also get a really good amount in here. The applicator is really, really nice. Um, these have lasted me a very long time, and I use them literally every day. Uh, these are perfect to like have under your foundation or literally just to wear on their own. They give you a really nice glowy base they are very much raved about all of the time but if there is one product i think you should get from this video i would definitely recommend this because you literally won't regret it next up i have this skin tint now this is from maybelline this is the superstay 24 hour skin tint with also vitamin c a lot of the products i've shown have vitamin c in them which is very good for your skin um i used to use well i still do actually use the l'oreal tinted serum that will forever be one of my favorite products um, but at the moment I'm just trying this out and it has been really nice. It's like very similar to it. This one I'd say is a little bit more thicker compared to the tinted serum, which obviously is like meant to be, this is more of a skin tint. That's like a serum that's meant to be lighter. Um, this shade is in 36. Again, I've said before in like a few of my videos, any products that have like a pipette on it where you can like put it onto your skin, I literally am obsessed with. Um, so my sister got me this for Christmas and I've been using it since. Um, I do sometimes switch between this and the L'Oreal one. So you can really build this up. So if you put a small amount on, you can then add more and it can build up to your like desired coverage. And then I'm just going to show you a few of the glosses that I've been loving recently. So I've got three different brands. This one is the NYX. This is the NYX Butter Gloss. I then have the Rimmel Thrill Seeker Glassy Gloss. And then I have the Maybelline Lift Gloss. Now all three of these products I literally love. They're so nice on my lips. Really don't leave that sticky formula, which is really nice once you've got them on your lips. So this one is the Lift Gloss. This has hyaluronic acid, um, which again is obviously very good. It also has a really nice smell. You can get so many different shades of this. I have three or four different ones of this now because it's one of my favorite glosses. Then have the NYX Butter Gloss, which again, I've had so many different shades of this one. This one I've um, repurchased is the Madeline. Um, this is so nice. It's such a nice color on your lip. Actually, what I've got on my lips right now, it's a really nice like nudie brown. And then lastly, I have the Rimmel Thrill Seeker Glossy Gloss. Now, this is like a newish product into my makeup bag. I'd seen so many people rave about this. My sister had one, and then I was like, oh, I'm going to get it to try. Again, has a really nice smell to it. I don't know if that's really weird. I smell, I smell everything, basically. So this is in the shade 100 Cocoa Sugar. Now, I've got a few. I've got three of these, and I literally love them. This one, I would say, is a little bit more sticky compared to the other ones, but it's not like you put your lips together and you can't pull them apart it's got like a slight pinkish tint to it um so when i put like a nude lip liner on and then just apply some top and it gives a really nice color so that is a few of my favorite products that i literally have been loving recently and a few that i recommend to you guys if you're looking for new products um new hair products skincare or makeup this is some of the ones i literally love i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if there's any videos you do want to see from me then just let me know down below and i'll see you all again soon with a new video thank you for watching bye